Did you know that cinnamon bark essential oil has been around for centuries and it was a valuable cargo item and the trade was huge at, as it has a multitude of everyday purposes. And I'm gonna talk about today how it's intertwined with God. Hi, Rosalie here. I am excellence and success driven and as a heart-centered wellness advocate with doTERRA, it shines through as I am passionate about educating people about changing the way they do their everyday wellness by teaching them how to incorporate essential oils into their daily routines. This week has been all about cinnamon bark and it comes from the inner bark layers of a tropical evergreen tree that is predominantly found in Sri Lanka. In the United States, most of what we know as cinnamon comes from the bark of the cassia tree and is not as sweet as real cinnamon. The first reference of cinnamon in the Bible was in Exodus 30, verses 22 to 25, talks about when the Lord gave Moses a recipe that was to contain myrrh, cinnamon, calamus, cassia, and olive oil. And he said, make these into a sacred anointing oil, a fragrant blend, the work of a perfumer. It will be the sacred anointing oil. Then in Exodus 29, 7, take in the anointing oil and anoint him by pouring it on his head. I love that picture of how the anointing oil was poured over. And the primary purpose of anointing with the holy anointing oil was to sanctify, to set the appointed person or objects apart. And that is a beautiful thought. And it was regarded as a means of health and comfort, as a token of honor, and as a symbol of consecration. Many other references of cinnamon and cassia are also found throughout the Bible. And in Psalm 45, 7, I just love this verse too. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has set you above your companions by anointing you with the oil of joy. Cinnamon is also referred to as the oil of acceptance, and that goes along with being set apart as God calls his pe people to this. In Psalm 45, 8, depending on what Bible version you read, it states that cassia or cinnamon within the verse, and it says, All thy garments smell of myrrh and aloes and cassia out of the ivory palaces whereby they have been made thee glad. I love sharing essential oils with people, educating them about their many benefits and encouraging them in, and encouraging them to believe that they are designed for more. My last reference for today during my Wednesday Wisdoms is from 2 Corinthians 2.14. It says, But thanks be to God who always leads us of captives in Christ's triumphal procession and uses us to spread the aroma of the knowledge of him everywhere. And as you can tell by many of the other videos I do and sharing my different insights, I take that literally and I spread good cheer. The aroma of God and the way I live my life and share essential oils that are either steam distilled or cold pressed from the plants that he placed in our world. As a reminder though, when using essential oils, make sure that you are using certified pure tested grade oils from doTERRA, just like this one right here, as they have been laboratory tested with numerous tests to verify their purity and composition. Therefore, these rigorous testing standards are safe for us to use aromatically, topically, and internally by all ages. But remember, cinnamon bark is one of those warmer oils, so I like always showing the coconut oil as that is a great way to dilute it down as these are concentrated and very strong and you don't want to put it topically right on the skin. You want to use precautions for that but only the highest quality and purest essential oils should be used for physical, emotion, emotional, and spiritual benefits and truly represent the gifts of the earth we have been given. I'm so passionate about the quality and benefits of doTERRA's essential oils. However, none of that can compare to the unconditional love that God offers to each of us. If you're looking for aromatic, topical, or internal ways to support your wellness journey, then I invite you to use my link to get a bottle of cinnamon bark essential oil. The aroma, the benefits, the joy acceptance it will invoke will help you set help you set yourself on a great path living that life of excellence. I hope you'll join me tomorrow for my Take on Thursday's video where I will be sharing some amazing ways to incorporate this essential oil into your lifestyle. Until then, know that you are loved and that you matter. <music>